here, hi guys and girls. I'm walking in town and I've come up to this. Quite interesting actually. See here, hi guys and gals. Well, uh, kind of interesting. I was out walking in town, and you can still hear the noise in the background. Uh, there's a, a, a duo playing. One is a, one is a, on a drum, and the other is on the bagpipes. I, I have a little video where I, we already see them. I'm gonna walk off now. Though. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a while. I haven't had a decent busker. That's something I really miss from my days when I was often in Ireland. I mean, we have them here, but they're just not the same level, uh, I was going to say, as, as the ones in Ireland. I think the, the Irish are kind of like natural, uh, natural musicians. Anyone who's been in Ireland will probably confirm what I just said. But yeah, it's nice, and, nice to hear someone do that. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I was just going to say that those of you who live in the, I was going to say central to e central to east coast of uh, center and tip to east coast of America, uh, probably uh, seen the eclipse, haven't you? Well, I mean, I watched it, so to say, live on uh, on internet. I, I went on uh, to ra Radio Canada actually and watched it there. It was it was pretty good actually. I must admit, quite nice. And some of my, some of my relatives were in one of the best zones, the town of uh, Sherbrooke, where they really had great skies and uh, were able to uh, to see everything, even to what they call the uh, the pearls and the diamond ring, as they call it, and stuff like that. So uh, they really, really, I was going to say, got a kick out of it, but. Uh, no, there wasn't any here. I don't know exactly. I didn't really check the uh, the path, but uh, the day after, I had a a Spanish class with uh, Isaac, and Isaac is my tutor, and he lives in Mexico City. And he told me, "Oh, I followed it on internet in, in Spanish," <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'd have to see how come. I thought maybe that he would be able to see it as well, but I guess that he was probably too far south. Anyway, it was uh, a big thing. And of course, as everybody was making jokes, uh, well, we'll be around for the next one. Well, if you're living in Canada, you won't. <laughs> it's, it's been quite a long time. Maybe your great grandchildren will, but that's about it. Yeah, so what else? I mean, there was kind of a, I was gonna say, a, I got an interesting phone call today. And I say interesting in inverted commas because when you, uh, uh, when you have transformations or something done to your house, and in our case, it was changing the heating system, uh, you have to have a new inspection out of the house so that is it could be it's it's usually for the value of the of the building so it's a state inspection and you've got to pull out all the documents proving that it was done correctly and so i mean yes we do have them because luckily i was going to say it's all something that's been done recently but you know you just never know you always wonder now of course 
the advantage, one of the advantages of that is that it's proof that something's being done and proof that you can add uh, add value to to your home. Uh, I just crossed somebody that used to know me and uh, I guess didn't recognize me. Anyway, uh, yeah, so where was I? Uh, yeah, about that, that evaluation. So they're coming in two weeks time and I made the, so we'll see. Anyway, I mean, uh, I'm kind of expecting it all will go well. But of course, when I say in inverted commas, is that that means that new evaluation, new cost. Because this, of course, is not free. So I guess nothing, as you know, I live in Switzerland, but I think in the old world now, nothing is free anymore. So it also means if, if the house is so-called worth more, we'll have to pay more. We'll have to pay more for this uh, building insurance. And it's a state building insurance, like I was mentioning. So it's not like you have any choice. You just have to do it. Otherwise, well, you're an outlaw. Yeah. You probably have noticed, at least from, from the video up to now, is that I am only wearing actually a vest and a, and a shirt. It is something like 17 degrees, something like that. 16, 17 Celsius, which is pretty warm. But it's one of those, uh, one of those temperatures. I mean, you know how spring is where you never really know how to get dressed. And that's how I usually, I guess, end up uh, for whatever reason, always, I was gonna say always getting uh, a spring sniffle or something. Anyway, I mean, I know that a draft will not give you a cold, but uh, it is true that one never really knows how, how to get dressed. Okay. Oh yes, there was one thing. I really, really do want to send my uh, my condolences and uh, thoughts to to Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine put up a video yesterday and uh, her uh, I was gonna say I was gonna say her dog but I should say actually her longtime friend has uh, well has passed on I, I don't know I do, the details but uh, I can only imagine uh, the pain and the uh, the grief and longing to have that whole buddy over again was uh, uh, Simba, yes, <laughs> had a blank there for a moment. So yeah, Jasmine, uh, well, that means that Simba and Dago are up there uh, sharing, I guess, a, a doggy bowl. <laughs> At least there's a few things we can probably say in that way. But uh, yeah, I really, I really feel for you. And uh, I don't know what your plans are. Yeah, in that respect, but uh, I think now, I mean, just a sense of, I was gonna say, a big hug your way. Uh, certainly what I'd do if I'd be uh, right, right near you, I'd uh, give you a, a, a really good hug. Anyway, so I guess we'll leave it at that, but take care, my friend. Okay, so oh, on that somber note, I guess I will stop and continue walking. I'm listening to a podcast. And uh, that'll be all for today. So DC signing off. Take care, everybody. And uh, what is today? Thursday. So have a good Thursday. Bye-bye.